Hello and welcome back to another vlog where I film what I get to on a weekly basis. And this week we're going to be starting off the vlog by opening up a brand new parcel from Diablo. I seem to be on a really hot streak of people just sending me stuff at the moment. So uh, this one actually appears to be delivered from hell. So we're going to open this one and see what's inside because I genuinely have no idea what's in here. Alrighty, let's get in here because I don't quite know which way to open this. Uh, oh, it's, it's a box within a box. Oh my days, look at this. Okay, this is the weirdest way to record something. I've got my phone under my armpit. <laughs> All right, here we go. What's inside? Take the lid off. It says demon slaying on the go. Take this off. What's this? Oh my God. I, I am a big Diablo nerd, so what is in here? Oh my God, look at Barbarian, the Savage Wanderer, Crusader, a Wrathful Zealot, Demon Hunter, a Vengeful Stalker, Master of Martial Arts and the Monk. We've got Necromancer, a Manipulator of Life and Death, and the Wizard, a Living Conduit of the Arcane Power. And it's got a controller in here. Wait, there's, there's more. I genuinely have no idea this is coming. What's it? What could possibly be underneath this? Oh my god, it's not. A, it's a hardback book as well. Oh my god, guys, there's more in here. What the? F oh my god, this is fucking sick. Excuse my French. <laughs> underneath this book. We had this, so I've got a new phone case, an otter box. Mate, I'm shaking, that's how excited I am. <laughs> I, you know what, I actually low-key need one of these to clean my glasses with, so this is dope. Oh my days, look how sick they are. Okay, right, this isn't sponsored at all. A massive shout out to JBL. Thank you so much for sending me this stuff out. I am... Words cannot express how grateful I am to be in this position just to get sent cool stuff. I played Diablo as a kid, I'm a massive Diablo nerd. This is sick. I genuinely had no idea that I was being sent this package. Jess just gave it to me and she's like, oh, did you order something? I was like, no. That's why the box is already open. I'm, I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Just, just you know, everyone who watches the videos and like supports me and all the people from JBL as well who's like sent this stuff. I just can't. I, thank you. I, I do appreciate it. this. It's fucking dope. I, this is unreal. I can't believe I'm in this position. It's mad. But right, awesome packages aside, I have a very busy vlog ahead of us today because we're going to the agricultural show. We're going to go to the car museum. I need to go get some balloons because I've got my three year anniversary on Twitch this week and the ingredients to bake a cake because I'm going to be doing that on stream on Friday. Well, today actually, as you watch the vlog. So I think it's time we get ready to go Tesco's. Go to the first on the list is a non spill cup to help Benjamin get out of the using bottles all the time. So that's first on the list. I think this is pretty perfect because it just does everything for us and it tells us what we need top right. So let's use this. Right, we just need some unsalted butter. This should do. Next, we need a little bit of milk. We definitely need some eggs, so let's grab some of these. And I believe we need some squeezy jam, so let's grab some of that. Well, I can't find any squirty jam, so I think just some normal jam jar should do the job. Well, I was very silly because it's right there on the next shelf up. <laughs> bye bye, Benji. Okay, all we need to do now is find a number three, which is right there. Uh, I didn't really consider that they would have to blow the balloon up, so I now have a, a floating free around with me. Which looks <laughs> quite ridiculous in the car, but hey ho, it is what it is. Well, that was almost a successful trip out. I managed to get all the things I needed, the balloons, the cake mix, and all that kind of good stuff, but unfortunately the car wash is closed. So cleaning the car's gonna have to wait for another time. But for reasons unknown to me, the sun is now gone and it's very cloudy and windy outside. So now that everything's dropped off, time to get changed and head back out. We have arrived at the Kenilworth Agricultural Show, which is home to all things tractors, big and small, and even things like this. I don't even know what this is, but it looks pretty gnarly. It's called the night. It's for tractor pulling. I'll be honest, the weather is awful. I have absolutely no idea what to film. But I definitely wouldn't mind getting in one of those and riding around all day. But this is what we're here to see, a bunch of tractors, because Benjamin loves tractors. He actually forget how big the size of the tires and the wheels on these things are. It's literally the same height as me. You definitely would not want to get caught in that, Jesus. I think this is Benjamin's favorite, the classic JCB digger. This is my current situation. It's absolutely chucking it down. And Benjamin wants to be carried everywhere. I love the way that these vehicles look back in the day. Such a vintage style. I really wish we carried on having vehicles made like this. Damn, look how cool this is, Jesus. It's old school bad boy. It's crazy how much it's changed over the years. Maybe these guys could probably teach me something about digging holes and building fences. Speaking of classics, check out these classic cars. Holy moly. Look at this bad boy. This is a cool fucking car. Love that. Well, if the weather wasn't so bad, we'd probably be here for a little bit longer checking out some of the shows, but a lot of them have been cancelled because the weather is actually awful. 
Still getting rained on, but we're gonna go get some food now. Well, the weather outside was pretty bad, so we decided to come indoors to the British Car Museum. The veggie has got a little car to drive around in. It's been a really long time since I've been to a museum and I've never been to a car museum before, so this is pretty cool. Oh, and check out the wheels on this bad boy. It's like a mini mini car for Benjamin, look. <laughs> it's mad to think that people actually used to ride these tricycles around town and stuff like that. It looks like hella complicated. I, I would not want to get about one of these. Oh, 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 would you look at this, the Project 7, my lucky number. Look at inside there, that. I oh, would love to drive that. That is one mean looking car. Never in my lifetime did I think I would see a car split in half, but look at this. They've cut the car in half so you can literally see it through the middle. That is actually crazy. As someone who's not like hugely into cars and stuff like that, I've never actually seen what the, like, the inside of a car looks like. It's mad. This one doesn't even look like a real car. It, it looks like something out of Back to the Future. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, we're going back to the 1900s now and the 1890s. The cars are crazy back then. This is an Austin 40p York. My favorite thing has to be these horns. I really wanna, I really wanna press that. <laughs> well, this is a car that everyone comes to see, I'm sure. It's the one and only DeLorean. Look at this bad boy. I have never seen this in person. It looks so sick. Oh, look, the little attention to detail in the windscreen as well. They've got a driving license for Back to the Future. How sick is that? And then we, we have we have this. I, I mean, I, I, I don't even know what that is. All, all that, but <laughs> what the fuck? Well, stupid me had no idea, but it's from Thunderbirds. It's crazy. I, I honestly, I never watched Thunderbirds growing up, so I have no idea. But inside, that looks, that's something else in there. And the more you know, this is actually from Judge Dredd, which I didn't know either. Damn, what a bad boy. I, I would love to see that driving about. <laughs> and finally, we've got the Defender from James Bond. Skyfall, this is from. Look how battered this car is. I wouldn't, obviously, I assume this has been done intentionally for the purposes of the movie, but damn, it's mad. But that's gonna do it for our trip to the British Car Museum. Time to head back now, but uh, we actually paid for tickets that uh, lasted all year, so we can come back whenever we feel like it. So maybe we'll come back again when we don't have a child. Because best believe Benjamin is becoming a right menace when it comes to taking him out. Well, but uh, time to head back home. Quick pit stop to see the red arrows. Holy moly, look at that. All right, guys, we are back home. It's been a bit of a weird day of vlogs. Ugh. But as you guys know, sometimes the weather can interrupt the vlogs and I haven't had a chance to go down the allotment today for that very reason, because the weather has just been awful. It's been a really weird mix of like 21 degrees, but also chucking it down with rain and then being hella windy. It's like hurricane weather. I don't understand what's going on, but I guess that's just England for you. Obviously, when the weather is nice again, we're probably going to go down the allotment. I imagine in next week's vlog, we're going to do some more allotment stuff. I really, really need to finish off that fence. But the weather isn't looking too kind to us, even though it's like 20 degrees outside. Regardless, I did say last week that I was actually going to give away this Razer Viper um, Mini. It is a mini thing. Uh, a mouse in last week's vlog. So we're going to do that now. And I've kind of got like a little weird way of wanting to do this. In that I'm going to blow up a balloon with a bunch of names in it. Pop the balloon, and then what I'm going to do is catch the name from a piece of paper, and I'm sure that's going to go really well. This is so stupid. I need to sort this out. But yeah, hopefully one of these people is going to win. I'm obviously going to catch one of your guys' names, and then that's going to be the winner I turned out to. So let's get the printer on and print out all the names. Because, best believe, I'm not writing them all down. Right, now that that's cut up, I better put this away before Jess tells me off. Because I definitely shouldn't be using her crafting things. But okay, all I need to do now is put those in, in, in one of those. Okay, so I need to put these... In in here, obviously got to use razor green, right? In here, uh, I have no idea how this is gonna go. Bear with me. Okay, the balloon is loaded. Now I just need to blow it up. Why <laughs> is it so hard to blow a balloon up? Okay, well the, the balloon didn't blow up. All the all the windows are in there. Uh, my phone's just freaking out, and it just decided to randomly start recording. Maybe I ran out of space or something. But we've got our razor balloon with all the winners in it. Okay, now for the easy bit. I'm gonna throw this balloon in the air and I'm gonna pop it and catch a piece of paper that falls out of it. Definitely the easiest thing I've done today. Oh, you know, I could use this. Ima imagine doing it with a lightsaber. Which I completely forgot, it's very topical at the moment. I got an Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber. Show is awesome. But right, here we go, here we go. Without further ado, somehow I'm going to throw this up, pop the balloon and catch a name all at once. Here we go, you ready? This is gonna go so badly. Okay, it scared the shit out of me. 
that we're going to pretend that didn't happen. But with the remains all over the floor, there is actually one on the table. So the winner of the giveaway is Luke Charles. Congratulations, Luke. You've won yourselves a Razer Viper Mini. Unfortunately, you haven't won the lightsaber because this is very expensive. But you have won yourself an epic new mouse. So I will get in contact with you on Twitter to get your details. And next week, I'll ship that one out in the vlog. But I'm going to end this vlog up here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, leave the video a thumbs up, rate. I appreciate that. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. I, again, I am sorry that the vlogs were a bit weird today, uh, a bit all over the place, but next week we should be back to normal, hopefully with some more allotment footage and we can finish the fence off or maybe I'll film some of the content from me baking the cake for the Twitch anniversary. But nevertheless, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Peace, peace. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> Fucking hate you so much. God damn it. <laughs> I will never get used to that. Holy fuck. Shit's me up, bro.